30 years ago. You know, it was a hobby, obviously, and it started off as a hobby. Um, Adolphus is in uh, Sucky Hall Street, Kensington House. I started to put a few in there, but there would just be watercolour and things like that. And a couple of the guys back then said, you know, that's something you should maybe think about doing as a, a bit more interest and a bit more career in the future, you know. So it took off from there, and it was just really sort of learning and practising. I've never done any formal education. Um, it's pretty much self-taught. If you can say self-taught, because these days, I mean, there's that much access to you know, teaching on video and TV, and um, as you can probably see, lots of books and like magazines, yeah. you know, <laughs> they're all over the place. So you're always picking up things, you're always learning, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the, you'll never get the perfect painting. And that, that's yeah. the whole thing. It's, it's like, um, I remember one artist I was speaking to, and he said, me, you'd be cursed forever with dissatisfaction, because once you get a perfect painting, it's like to throw away the brushes, you know? Yeah. So I'll always find fault, and just keep improving. I, think I used to sort of... If I got a dissatisfied you know, with a particular painting, I would wipe it off and start again. Or, but then somebody said, no, don't do that because somebody's going to like that. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's such an open sport. You know, what you like, what I like is completely different to something somebody else might like, you know. Yeah. When I'm doing a series painting, if somebody gives me a commission to do it, it's always oil. You know, I'm more comfortable you know, if I'm having fun, which I do, you know, just I'll maybe use acrylics and watercolour, uh, especially my, my granddaughter, she's... Six now, so she's into all that sort of thing, obviously, as they do, you know. So, yeah, she, I still play, you know, it's, it's a, I still have fun with it, you know. Um, but a serious, I mean, I've got one to do a shot with for the, um, the Windy Hills Golf Club. Mm -hmm. So, I guess he's up there, he wants me to do the first fairway, you know. Oh, cool. So, that'll be, nice, that'll be a nice thing to do. Once, so, once this weather comes, do you know, even yeah. I may go up and do some sketching and take some photographs. So, so we're doing a bit of fun for cash for kids and things like Christmas, and we're looking at. I'd done some sketches in Bredy Castle some years ago and I always wanted to get a frozen version of it and bring it forward out of the water. And it tied in nicely with the, the theme we were doing at Christmas for Frozen. So the oh. colours are fairly similar. Cool. So, so these but, prints of your ones that you've done and sold on? What you're seeing here is all originals. All oh, these, but, these but originals, right? Yeah, but I produced prints from these. Cool. And I have been doing that for quite a number of years now. It's when you see an average frame that's completely different to... You know, it's, it's a curious thing. The painting actually happens up here. You know, I'll, I'll do sketching. I've had one painting in particular um, in my mind now for about two years. I can see it in here. I've tried sketching it. I've got some ideas, but I'm, it's, it's a famous street in Glasgow. I'm still going to have to go back and take the four photographs, sketch it again, um, because it, it always looks, you know, you want to get it it's fairly accurate. But then what I like to do is put my own style to it, you know, which can be like maybe I like painting dark to light sort of thing. Um, so that might be a, that one there. Oops, sorry. Well, certainly I mean, I've got around 150 at home, uh -huh. uh, originals. Um, again, I produce prints from that, so if you count the prints, <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, and paintings that I've done and threw away are paintings that I've just maybe given away, because sometimes uh -huh. that can happen. Because that's always doing charity things for cash for kids and things like that, so it's always nice to put things in there. And you always get something back for it. You know, even it's just nice compliments. You know, in fact, recently when I showed the, the print of that one up there, um, there was a guy who said to his wife, that's Jim's new painting. Because you never painted that. <laughs> I don't believe you, you know. And that, that's nice, like a curious compliment. You know, I don't know, a guy said that years ago, the two biggest compliments you'll get is you never done that, and else that's painting by numbers. <laughs> I can see a 16. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Um, that's fair enough. <laughs>